wow, yo, yippee, yo, yippee, yay, guys. It's pile number 35, and I'm super excited to be with you guys. As always, we're going to dig down into love the community, then talk about a lot of exciting things about the Switzerland network, such as the launch of Sweatcoin, talking about our new urn, our new tranche, the third layer of Swissborg and how we're going to drive this this wonderful industry towards a really new way of thinking and some good news with the community index. As you guys know, my name is Cyrus Vizel. I'm the proud founder and CEO of Swissborg, always here to serve you. So let's dig right into it with the question of the week. Thank you for Tony's Bridge. So how do you know how dangerous it is to use adventure mode? Um, one of the main reasons today that Swissborg is doing great uh, and it's not dying like most of its competitors in the yield business, such as BlockFi, such as Celsius, such as Voyager, and so many other ones, Nuri, and the list goes on and on and on and on. The reason is that we always have very much had a very great risk management procedure because what we always have to understand the higher the reward, the higher the risk. And what we want you guys to understand is that it's good to take some risk. But you have to understand first, what is the risk? And then are you okay to take that risk? So eventually, uh, I think so with the yield and the earn program, sorry, we're going to have four difference. For now, we have a core strategy, satellite, adventurous, right? And... Um, what we see here is that we always break down the risk into a lot of different components. The first one is that we look on a protocol, right? And the protocol we divide it into tech, the continuity, the counterparty, liquidity, and we make a great measurement with that. And then we look in the strategy itself, right? So in this case, like we're talking about Stargate, right? We're looking at is the star is the protocol risky or not, and then is the vault risky or not, right? And then you look by each essentially underlying. If you're doing this with USDT, or if you're doing this with USDC, and and you know you could go through this great article. It's on the blog. Um, the idea is that we always look at different ways uh, how to do this. And I think so this is exactly what you guys have to be looking towards, right? If you're taking 2%, getting yield 5% or 10%, it's really different. From the protocol itself, Stargate, it's a new, quite a new type of protocol, though it already has a half a billion. Uh, it's known as a lot of different users have that we know institutional investors are using Stargate. More than that, we met the team. Um, we have known that uh, these guys have, we have done a, a lot of sustainable, essentially, um, protocol uh, audit on it. We looked at different counterparties as well that did as, as well uh, the different, uh, essentially, audit on the oracles and the smart contracts on all the different liquidation mechanism. Uh, so this is really what we do and what we've been doing for the last two, three years. The, the good news is that we're more people doing this today uh, from the Swissborg team uh, and the DeFi team exactly. And I think so this is exactly what you have to understand. And, you know, we'll have, you know, we're starting right now doing strategies to make this clear with pretty much uh, strategies that have uh, a low to medium risk and therefore low to medium return, right? And, and as things gonna grow, we're gonna be adding more and more, some more funky things. Uh, but for this, uh, we need essentially few things to make it happen. First, we will have just a small buckets, most probably. So I mean, based on your premium or things like that, you'll be able to essentially only allocate some of your funds there. Second, uh, they'll probably have lockups as well. Uh, so it won't be a 24 hour like now. You'll be able to redeem, but you'll be able essentially to be, to like look on maybe a monthly basis, three months basis or more. So these are things that we will, we will essentially really try to do. Um, getting back to why we like a lot about Stargate. It's one of the Omni uh, blockchain for DeFi. So it really looks at a lot of different op protocols itself. So I think this is something very, very different from the others, from Avalanche, Ethereum, and to, and to many others. So this is something that's really good. It works with all the L2s as well, so the Arbitrum and, and others. So I think so. this is something that we like very much. 
Um, here you see that the Swiss board team ranks target as adventurous investments. Uh, one of the crypto fluent experience, a market maker, aware investor who fully understands the, the associated risk. Long term, short, long story short, why is this adventurous? It's still a young protocol. Even if it's a very robust one, it's still a young protocol. Uh, that's mainly one of the big thing. Um, so for example, myself, I have the biggest portion in the core strategy that goes with Aave. And then I have for Stargate, the adventurous one, a smaller portion that goes to it. And that's how I mix. And I'm quite happy with that combination. But if you're more adventurous in this case, well, you know what to do. Uh, it's really up to you. Everyone has his own way of portraying risks. The big announcement of the week, obviously, was about the urn. We just talked about it. Uh, this is the first debut of urn uh right now we know that there's a few thousand people that have deposited few millions that have been deposited already we know we're going to be working on more vaults as you guys know we're going to be working on a better way to discover as well i think so the 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 urn itself because right now it's not as easy if you haven't discovered it yes go into usdc and you'll see you see there's different vaults same to usdt i heard that we're launching very soon one on busd as well so all of these stable coins which today i think so are a uh, very good ones to uh, bring, uh, you know, more a risk averse type approach. <laughs> crazy news and crazy week. Uh, Sweatcoin, Sweatcoin has been uh, one of the, I would say, one of the biggest uh, in terms of mass adoption. And obviously, this is something that uh, we love very much at Swissborg is how to bring crypto to to the masses. And we really love these guys. I mean, it pays to walk. Uh, you know that healthy and wealthy way how are you doing things um we're extremely excited that we're going to be one of the first guys that lists this uh wonderful uh sweat coin you won't be able to deposit or to withdraw uh so you only be able to trade it for now because essentially we wanted to we favorized uh how to get you guys at the first day of listing uh, like that it's it's a it's a really fair launch where i think so it's great and then going forward you'll be able to withdraw it rather in its native token which is near or if not in erc20 crazy thing is that not only the mission is so well done the healthy wealthy thing going on they have over 100 million users which is crazy i've been using it i've been minting a, a lot of different uh essentially sweat coins which is really good uh, it's big everywhere. Uh, Swissborg uh, Venture has as well invested into this round, which is really good. Um, we we've they have partnered up with so many different other ways. Um, the community itself is just a huge one, which I think so. It's something that's really, 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 really good. You see in real time, like like this already twenty five billion. Uh, so coins have been created for people walking so all in all we believe this is great this we have more partnerships going on with these guys as well that we'll let you know in the future but this is really a token to look carefully at because you know the thesis behind it it's pace to walk is very strong and i think so with this you could then start to monetize a lot of different things within uh the sweat coin uh essentially app you know what they're doing with advertisement and all of that but there's more than that and i think so with all this big amount of community members if it continues to 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 shape and you know we know quite well the team alex and and shane are, are very close to the sweat coin team so you know we know some really good things on the roadmap it looks extremely promising so this is definitely a token and an app to have uh, and we're very excited to launch it the first time on Swissboard, where you get it at same rate as the other uh, fastest exchanges that are doing their token launch through it. So uh, big, big applause for this moment uh, for Swissborg and congrats for the Sweatcoin launch. Here's the center of the week. We're going to talk about this right after, guys. It's about Xborg, obviously. It's about the it's about the merge and what's the merge and uh yeah all in all i think so this is a very good week where we're back to school guys another crazy announcement of this week i'm told you guys we're back on track uh it is one of the most exciting mints uh to date uh which is happening on uh very 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 soon on this friday uh export 
exports you all guys know what export is now today you, you've seen louis multiple times export is the web 3 esport 3.0 sorry uh uh and it's a great way to, str to strengthen our community to make sure that the web 2 guys get into web 3 that we get to have a great landmarks on what's the future of all of these games within the web 3 and this is really you know this is really a community that's gonna <laughs> grow immensely you know it's when i talked about swiss work five years ago it's almost our anniversary by the way uh you know five years later it became just mass massive export had that same potential so there's already eight thousand people uh that are on the wait list and there's only uh 1111 spots uh supply available uh you can mint up to two uh essentially uh, nfts per person so you know what to do on friday uh it's going to be doing the mints at 6 p.m cat so be there be square as we said uh, i think so we'll have a little talk just before as well an ama uh that will happen on thursday so looking forward to that and yeah look carefully at export another crazy thing happening this week is eth the merge you got already got the uh, the single from it there is it's almost 100% chance that this thing's going to go through, which is really great. We are supporting, obviously, the merge. We are supporting, obviously, the proof of stake. We are supporting, obviously, the planet and the future that goes with it and the sustainability that goes with it. So this is something that's going to be really, really good for the industry itself. It's going to be very good for positive for DeFi going forward. It's going to be very, very positive for the entire industry, setting new standards and eventually having a, a protocol that embraces i think so the vision of swiss Borg as well so we're very very excited that you know finally ether is going back into the esgs uh, at a high level and uh yeah it's going to bring a lot of traction i think so more scalability through the l2s as well uh with this proof of stake and i think so this is going to help uh the industry to set new standards so very excited about this, this is happening in the next days I mean, what could go wrong is obviously potentially the merge wouldn't happen, but I think so at this stage, you know, it's pretty much we went through the three stages and today looks like everything is green. Um, however, how will the double counting happen between those who want to essentially the miners that want to stake the proof of work? I mentioned this many times. This is not going to go anywhere, I believe. I might make some noise in the beginning, but Chainlink's not going to be supporting this. There will be some stress regarding uh, double double spending, potentially people having to ETH, but most probably in most DeFi platforms that are supplied by Chainlink, they will not be recognizing these addresses. So we'll see how things evolve. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, Swissburg will always take the best of those two worlds and make sure that you have that that hedge that you always have uh, since day one. <laughs> Community member of the week, it goes to a wonderful woman, which is Asha Crypto. Uh, you've seen her. She's done a lot of beautiful art throughout uh, the crazy... Oh, I forgot the name of um, of this persona. It's that woman with the baseball bat all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what she is, she's protecting us all the time, making sure that the bad evils are, are getting uh, afraid about uh, this powerful uh, Asha. And more importantly, she's doing a lot of remarkable uh, job of defending us and and putting us in the in the metaverse. So uh, many thanks. Thank you to Asha. And look forward to have more female people that really have the same courage and the same passion uh, that Asha has. Events an update, we're going to have in Fribourg, uh, very joint crypto field uh, this Wednesday, so tomorrow, which is really, really good. Myself tomorrow, I'm going to be at CVVC's event, uh, which is going to be really cool here in Zug. Um, Nearcon is happening, so a lot of people from Swissborg are already there. Uh, there's going to be as well Eternity 2 that will happen, and then Leipzig. Uh, there's as well Caprice. Uh, as you guys know, we've been friends very cl cl closely with Caprice for some time. If you guys are interested in attending this very cool festival, we have discounted uh, tickets for you guys. So please let us know, uh, message any any people at Swissborg on Twitter whatsoever, and we'll make sure you get these uh, really cool tickets out of it. 
Uh, so this was the events happening this week. Much more to happen going forward. This is Warg and Earn. So we're seeing things have started very slowly, but this was on purpose. We wanted to do a soft launch. And I think so going forward, what we really want as Swissborg is to start shipping in a more distributed way, which is that a lot of different, we have reorganized Swissborg in a way where essentially a lot of these different tracks have their own autonomy to some extent. And we want the release to happen very smoothly. So meaning that whenever there's a, a, a a big let's say a big launch we're going to try to launch it in a lot of small ways like that we could iterate and if there's any issues any bugs whatsoever we're able to essentially manage the whole the whole launch pro uh, process so you know what we're doing here right now is the earn as you guys understood is to do step by step we've seen that so far right now mainly most people are on the core strategy uh and there's just a small amount of people uh that are willing to go on 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 the more adventurous side uh which is interesting um and that's on the usdc and usdt side uh on the ether it's pretty much stable as it is 76 almost seventy thousand ether uh, which it is over forty four thousand people uh, and there's been more subscriptions uh, than redemptions the last two weeks. Actually, we doubled that, which is great. But we had a big redemption, unfortunately. Uh, we have had 724 users that have joined. Uh, and the cool thing we have, we had had, unfortunately, 550 users that have been leaving in the last two weeks. Uh, so pretty much we're growing s slowly but surely. But Kiva, no. Kiva Lontano Vassano. Kiva sano, kiva piano vasano valandano. <laughs> Some dormant news in the last six six months. We've seen a lot of 52%. That's quite a huge amount of people that have been quite dormant in the last six months, but it is what it is. When news are not great, some people don't want to face the balance, right? Um, what we are doing, though, is more and more small videos within the app to wake up people and to see how we could convert those people to do some certain different actions like doing a transaction or going into earn or discovering a new article and doing passing your your KYC level to and all of these different steps are trying to to do that and there's a lot of new cool stuff within the Swissborg is how to grow uh essentially the referral program which is looking very much forward to it some data uh, for Swissborg uh things the CHSB has been quite stable uh this last week or so a uh, little bit more people in the app though 137,000 people 530 it's a little bit over 600 people which is great 316 new uh premiums slightly a little bit better than last week and the rest looks pretty much uh identical so the 400 million into the yield program and a little bit less than 200 million in the uh staked which brings us to the big question of the week. We had a really poor result last week. Let's hope this week is going well. So the community and, d -d 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 and it's strong, bam, growing up on channel per channel. Uh, just the social media hasn't done as good as the prior week, but nevertheless, all the rest is super green, uh, which is good, which is really really good. We needed it this week to have a big start uh, for uh, this end of the summer and the beginning and the end of q4 three uh so uh, this is something very important as we will be shipping more and more really really cool stuff guys as always it's a great pleasure to be with you guys um this week has been a really fantastic week uh there's so much things ahead uh between uh well the launch of the urn of of, of last friday uh the new way to finally get to set new standards for this industry, how do people could start understanding risk, how people could start honoring rewards and giving that 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 as well transparency that goes with the earn. It's just under presented where we, we are the ones that start doing this and we're going to see a lot of people more and more probably going to offer this and and there's so much to be done on the earn. It's it's the chapter when I'm seeing the roadmap it looks really phenomenal. And for this, I'm extremely, extremely, extremely bullish. Xborg, as you guys know, it's it's gonna be a really wonderful venture. I'm very very comfortable to say that it's it's gonna be the yielding one, the game changer again for how to get to offer uh, a community the chance to grow with their passion. 
to grow with the love in the gaming industry, which hasn't been the case for the last, you know, 40 years since we, we were playing back then on Atari, or Nintendo, or Game Boy, or, or Genesis, or whatever it was, PlayStation, and Nintendo 64, and, and, and the others. Um, I think so this is really something that is very, very important uh, for the industry, but as well for Swissborg. Um, the fact of releasing Sweatcoin uh, without being able to trade it. This is the first time we're doing this, so this is something really, really cool, and being able to launch it when it's launched on other different uh, other platforms. So really being able to trade it at the first, like, so this is, it's not a launch pad because, well, it's done through a lot of other different people at the same time, but it's the same time as the other launch pad. So we're so close to get to that launch pad ourselves, which is very, very, very cool. So as always, guys, be healthy, be wealthy, and love our CTSB. Take care, guys. Bye. Through Swissborg, all assets will have a fiat gateway. And here is the thing. Premium features gives you zero fee trading. It's a, an amazing fiat gateway. For some, love is a strong feeling. What if you could send it in a... From point A to point B. Zero borders. Zero time. Zero fees. For us, love is sending crypto. Just send it. Now with SmartSend. Engineered in Switzerland by Swissborg.